tonight, progress in the fight against the opioid epidemic. A new report by the American Medical Association shows prescriptions are down and addiction education is up. But as Roseanne Tejas reports, there's a long road ahead. One key step in fighting opioid abuse is reducing the number of prescriptions. A new AMA report shows progress. Between 2013 and 2017, opioid prescriptions decreased by 55 million, more than 22 percent nationwide. Really promising. Dr. Emily Miller is an OBGYN at Northwestern Medicine. She says cesarean sections are the most common inpatient surgery in the United States, and they are painful. And the overwhelming majority of those women go home with an opioid prescription. While it was well intentioned to give all these medications, we were really contributing to this epidemic. While fighting pain was once the primary goal, minimizing opioid exposure is now considered equally important. Such a delicate balance, and I think the pendulum has really swung. Another sign of progress in the fight against opioid addiction is the increased use of medication-assisted treatment, or MAT, which the AMA says is up 42 percent in the last year. I was arrested. 21-year-old Nick Villacana told us via Skype that he was trapped in a cycle of addiction to opioids for six years. MAT helped with my withdrawal symptoms and also with my cravings. Matt can only be provided by a certified doctor and essentially weans patients off of the drug slowly, in Villacana's case, over five months. I've lost five friends to heroin overdose, and they never had that option. Um, and I'm 21 years old, you know, and that could have been me if it wasn't for MAT. The AMA says one goal now is to get insurers to pay for this medication-assisted treatment. But the biggest goal may be to end the stigma associated with opioid use. The addiction is a medical illness, a physiologic disorder that patients often cannot fight on their own. Mm -hmm. Rob, Erica? You know, it seems like in some of the local governments where this uh, is prevalent are starting to embrace this notion, aren't they? They absolutely are. I think the people have gotten the message, but it's still going to take a lot of time to certify enough doctors to provide this medication-assisted yeah. treatment, for example. Small okay. steps so far. All right. Right. Thanks, Roseanne.